magnetic induction heating works is it starts in the, the stove or the heating source first where when there's current in a wire there's heat but then there's also magnetism check this video out early scientific experimenters longed to establish a relationship between electricity and magnetism this was finally accomplished in 1820 by danish physicist hans christian orsted he was demonstrating that a wire became hot when current flowed through it a compass lay nearby each time the current was turned on the compass needle swung this observation was quickly tested by moving the relative positions of the wire and the compass orsted not only discovered the presence of a magnetic field around a current carrying conductor but also that the magnetic field developed exclusively in a plane perpendicular to the direction of the current flow so you notice the guy says when there was current through the wire it produces heat right so hang on to that uh, we'll talk about that later in france andre ampere found that a coil of current carrying wire acts precisely like a magnet with north and south poles he also observed that equal and opposite currents flowing in adjacent conductors cancel their magnetic effect so how do you get that heat into the pan by just magnetism well by electromagnetic induction in 1824 dfj arago discovered that the oscillation of a magnet slowed dramatically when a non-magnetic conducting plate was placed near the magnet today we understand that the conductivity of each metal or the ease with which the metal's electrons can be moved under stimulation is an inherent property of each metal the higher the metal's conductivity, the greater will be the opposing electromagnetic field which it produces. Hence, the more rapidly it slows the oscillation of the magnet. Now to induce a current into a secondary material like the pan, the pan has to be electrically conductive. Um, and the magnetic field has to be moving or have the uh, relative movement or the appearance of movement by the pan. Uh, check this out. His first experiments investigated currents induced by the relative motion of a magnet and a coil. He discovered that a moving magnet induces a measurable electric current in a conductor without any electrical connection. Parallel discoveries by Joseph Henry in America led him to realize that it was the change in the magnetic field that produced this effect. For example, a coil A is connected to a battery through a switch. An independent coil, B, is placed nearby and connected to a galvanometer, which measures any current flow. When the switch to coil A is closed, a current is produced in coil A in the direction shown, and current is momentarily produced in coil B in the opposite direction. When the switch is opened, the current stops flowing through coil A, and another momentary current is produced in coil B in the reverse direction. In each case, current in coil B flows only while the current in coil A is changing. So you saw how the mag magnet was moved into the coil and out of the coil. Well, the reason why the heating source has to be alternating current because every time the polarity alternates from minus to plus and plus to minus, uh, the magnetic field also collapses and expands thus giving the appearance of movement of the magnetic field onto the, onto the conductive uh, pan. So now you've got a primary source that has current through it and the current produces magnetism. The magnetism is constantly expanding and contracting. You get that close to the pan or you put the pan close to the expanding and contracting magnetic field that expanding and contracting magnetic field establishes a current, a secondary current inside the pan. So current produces heat. Just like when there's current in a single wire, but that current has to be alternating in order to, to keep the magnetic induction into the secondary material. And that is how an induction stove works. So now if you're out in the woods and you don't have you know, fire starting stuff, you can still heat your pan 
or your mess kit if you had uh, a big magnet and you just moved it back and forth across your uh, your pan to make a, um, a consistently moving magnetic field and that will eventually heat up your pan and I don't know if you do it fast enough you might start a fire <laughs> take care